evening, everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Mayweather's confidence is really showing through as he makes his way to the ring. The Mongoose is coming to the ring with his entourage of cornermen, but they look calm, cool, and collected. Hard to believe that they're going to be firing off punches within moments. is done it is simply time to fight Teddy if you were training one of these two fighters boxer or brawler where would you have more confidence that you could pull off the win with which guy? I always feel better with the boxer because usually somewhere deep inside himself, if he has to fight, he's going to fight. That's what fighters do. Not able to land the headshot. A sledgehammer that uppercut by the Mongoose. Use the ring, use the ring. That was a fine block by Money. Unable to score with the hook. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Just looking to chop down his opponent. A forceful hook to the head by the Mongoose. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Oh, he's hurt. He was hurt right there. But now he's grabbing on like it's a life preserver. And he's going to have to stay there if he's going to get through these rapids. Turn that hook over, but couldn't turn it into a connect. Now hugging on the inside. A well-placed overhand right. Able to cover up that gut. Money's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Ten clicks of the talk. So end of the round, a round in which he was able to get to his man there, stunned him there. He's kind of got momentum now, doesn't he, Teddy? Yeah, he does. And you know he's going to want to build on it. He doesn't want to get reckless, careless, but he's want to keep it going that way. Ah! 
All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight right down the middle. Jab, jab, and throw. Throw to the body. Start of a new round. The mongoose is making it look like the start of a fresh fighter. Remember, he was stunned in that last round, but Teddy, he looks fully recovered now. Well, it tells me two things. One, he has good genetics. He recovers fast, you know, physically. But it also tells me he had a good camp. He came here in great shape, and he's getting the benefit of that right now. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Mongoose has done a good job there, offensively scoring with that left hand. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. Try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. The mongoose is hit by a right hand. Boy, he was hurt, but now he's gathered himself a bit. Double punch. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. Halfway through this round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Side, side. a big shot now he's got to have some big guts to move along you're gonna find out exactly what he's made of oh that was a smart move right there he was hurt but then he held on absolutely joe but a super move a bad move by the fighter who was having him hurt he should have taken a little step back and not allowed him to grab by that shot to the head. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you wonder if he's got a call waiting outside. Final 10 seconds of round number two. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. The Mongoose has got a good relationship with his corner, but now it needs to pay off. He was down in that last round. They need to get to work. You got this one. You got this one. Feeling the effects now of that hook. The mongoose is not jabbing that much right now. That's got to help out his opponent. Yeah, you know, that's like giving him a free one. Because now his opponent doesn't have to worry as much when he walks in. No jab to keep him out. He's going to see the other punches coming so much easier when there's not a jab covering them. Solid left hand. Keep the 
ahead, move it. Scored well up top. Coming to the halfway point of this third day. round. Keep, keep, keep working the body. The mongoose's fatigue is starting to play a major factor in this fight. Big shot. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Three, four, five. Mayweather's back up, but is he back in the fight? We're gonna find out in a second whether or not he moves his head. Now, if he what just stands the there straight and you're the trainer, you better get up on those steps and stop it. He's not right. Target with that hook. Ten seconds to go in this third round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Okay. Side to side. Lean to the side, then boom. Kind of punch. Kind of punch. Hey, don't waste it. Watch the water in the corner. But I want you to keep those hands moving. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out as we start round number four. Money's up two rounds to one, but keep in mind, they've already traded knockdowns. Yeah, and his opponent knows that. He knows he can hurt him, and there's always hope. There's always incentive to get after him. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Mayweather's trying to get back to where he was here in this round. He was knocked down in the last round. Now, Teddy, when you're the opponent and you knock the guy down, those opening few moments of the next round, do you try to size up and kind of take into account where your opponent is? Do you look into his eyes and assess the situation? Well, I don't know if you get close enough to look right into his eyes as the opponent, but first of all, in the corner, you better not send your fighter out if his eyes don't look clear. That's your responsibility, looking out for the fighter. But as the opponent out there, you look at his legs. If his legs look a little wobbly, you get right on him. through round number four. He missed with that headshot. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Good job, buddy. 
Tried to land that up there. That uppercut absolutely rocked him. Oh, and there you go. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Watch the hook. <laughs> nice block by Money. That's what I want. Ten See? seconds to go in the fourth. This has been a hotly contested well, well, war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at Don't any moment in these later rounds. Be yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Okay, Mr. Bird, make him miss. Beautiful, beautiful. And with the start of this round, the halfway point of this fight. Money's throwing a lot of punches right here, but not a lot of them are late. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. The mongoose is hugging at this point. Uh, you know, listen, it is what it is. Oh, that was a big shot that floored him, and it's a big shot that may end him right here. That looked like the great pitch of great Maddox, his sinker ball. Boy, it went down quick. One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. Money's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. power that we saw throughout the night building a lead on your scorecard now ends the night with a knockout victory and it begins the next night the next dawn the dawn of the new beginning more money knockouts bring money for teddy atlas i'm joe tessitore saying thanks for being with us